Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to give you a walkthrough of everything you can do with Code Damp Playgrounds today. It's completely free. You can start building your project, brainstorming your ideas, and see how you can make use of an in browser IDE without setting up anything at all on your computer. All you need is a browser, anything works Safari, Chrome, Firefox. Just bring it. Open code dam and let's go ahead and see. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So the first thing you'll see when you open code dam is over here inside the playground section. Let's start with a very basic, very simple playground with React. Now, currently at this point of time, we are using white to set up React playground. So I can say something like React project as the name of the playground and it does not really matter right now what name you give it probably will in some time but right now you can give it anything and within seconds it will spin up environment for you across somewhere across in the world right because this computer is running on the cloud somewhere just for you and this is a real computer you can get a second terminal over here when you click on this button and you're going to see that this pretty much this interface over here which you get is a real computer it's a real linux computer although it's a docker container but still you get the idea okay a couple of things right off the bat you can see that this interface comes with a few things right away the first one is the explorer you see on the left which appears to be like how you will see in a vs code or a similar setting and this explorer is exactly what it does it showcases you all the files present inside this code directory so you see i have these exact files over here as well the index.html which you see is the same file which i if i browse through the terminal over here you're going to see these are the two exact same files right and you can make any change to this particular index.html file and this would reflect back in your real computer over here in the linux computer so think about this interface more as a nice editor for all the files available in your computer over here in the assigned playground. Then on the right, you have a handy web view embedded, which is basically this URL over here. Now this URL is dynamic. It doesn't matter what this URL is because this is just a project URL. But what you get over here is the output of anything and everything which is running at port number 1337. On code dam so this browser output over here is connected to whatever process is running on port 1337 inside this particular computer so you see how to check what is running in this computer well you see that there is a configuration file called cdmrc which lists the command as terminal 1 to install the packages first and then a command called yarn dev if i go to package.json you're going to see the yarn dev command what it does is it starts a white host at port number 1337, a white server at port number 1337. So let's run yarn dev again and see what happens on the right. So you see on the right, it is automatically configured to refresh and retry every single time there's a change in configuration. And the moment we do that, it loads up our React mini server. But the important point over here was that you can customize this behavior, what happens when you load a playground using this mini file called cdmrc. You can see we had tabs called src app.jsx. Let's say if I add index.html to this as well. Now, I don't have to save this because it is configured to automatically save. But when I refresh on this, you're going to see by default, now we would have two tabs opened, the app.jsx file, which was earlier, and the new index.html file, which we just specified. So you're going to see we have two tabs open over here and the command which runs in the first terminal was yarn install, you can see on the top. And then the second command which ran was this yarn dev server which starts the server now there's more you can do with the cdmrc file you can of course specify terminal 2 over here as well you can say whatever you want to run in the terminal 2 command and it will just boot it whenever it starts it could be something like echo hello there work nicely with my project right and this might be something which this is a link which you might want to send to a co-worker to a friend or something and you just might want to surprise them with a message in the terminal so once you configure this again give it a reload because right now we require reloads and configuration and the moment it loads you're going to see you will now have two tabs with src app.jsx index.html 
and a couple of terminals to play with. Now we still have to come up with all the documentation work but there is one more command which is available right now and that command is run button and if you have not guessed by now this is yaml syntax we have a complete yaml crash course on codam so make sure you check that out if you want to learn what the hell is happening over here but in a nutshell this just means an array of elements which you might have guessed you can have multiple open tabs by default this just means a multi-line string this symbol over here and you can just omit it if it's a single line string, like in this case. The run button command over here, what it means is that if you specify this, a run code button would appear over here and it would run that command on click whenever you, know, you click on that button. So in this case, all we want to do is say something like yarn dev, for example, right? Just to bootstrap our server. And that's it. That's, I have configured this to do that. I'm gonna just refresh this and you're gonna see that now, this time, when we load the configuration, there's a new button called a run command button over here. So it's just a way for you to run pretty much any command or provide an option to run any command with a simple nice button. Obviously it wouldn't make a lot of sense in a long running server like this, but maybe think about if you're running a Python script or something and you want to compile it on every button click and that might be something where it makes more sense. I'm gonna close this for now and let me just go ahead and just disconnect the server as well and then click the run code button again. So you're gonna see that it runs my command in the first terminal and my server is automatically started. If you try to run it over and over again, it's just gonna just remove the last command running and then run your command. So that's pretty much it. Apart from a whole computer which you get at your disposal, the CDMRC file also allows you to hook into the CodeLamps playground itself. And this would be, going further, would be the configuration file for pretty much any playground which you see on CodeLamps. We have plans to make CodeLamps playground interface freely available to everyone, if in fact it is even right now, but trying to add more interactivity, more multiplayer capabilities and more free compute and storage is one of our goals over here at CodeDamp. You would have seen and even used CodeDamp Playgrounds if you were a part of CodeDamp's 100 days of projects and it's still going on. In the third project, I built this full submission from scratch, this JSON proxy holder project. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with how the CodeDamp Playground works. But if not, 100 days of projects is a great way to get started not only in your web development career, but also learn how to set up a CodeDamp project from scratch. Because you're gonna see that in this project, I made use of the CDMRC and we have had, you know nice commands running over here one for client one for server and the project basically all I need to do in order to share this code share this project is just send this link and anyone who opens this link would be able to extract this full project and see everything and anything which is working in this project right with a proxy server and node.js and all that stuff so make sure you check out codedamps playground by going to codedamp.com playgrounds create one for yourself share a link heck tweet it at me i'll retweet your codedamp playground submissions if you send it on twitter that is all for this video let me know in the comments below if you try this out you have any feedback or do you want to see any feature that's all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamp's discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching